In this video, I will show you how to install the Mobile First Server and Application Center. This is the server that will be used to manage the Maximo Anywhere applications and communicate with your mobile devices. Log in to the Anywhere Windows Server Console as the user administrator. You will install the Mobile First Server and Application Center using the same media you use to install the Maximo Anywhere 762 required components. Create a directory on the new Anywhere server to locate this media. For example, C downloads Maximo Anywhere 762 media. Right click on the Max Anywhere 76 for Max 76 file and select Extract here. The files will extract. Once the files have been extracted, right click on Max Any 762 Mobile First file and choose Extract here. The files will extract and create a directory structure similar to the one shown on screen. Once the files have extracted, right click on Launchpad 64 and run as administrator. The IBM Maximo Anywhere 762 Launchpad screen will appear. Select Install or Update the IBM Mobile First Server from the left hand column and click Install. The IBM Installation Manager will launch. Click Install. Be sure the IBM Mobile First Platform Server and version 710 are selected and click Next. The Install Packages screen will appear. Select I accept the terms in the license agreement and click Next. On the Install Packages screen, remove program files from the installation directory location. The location should read C IBM Mobile First Platform Server. Click Next. The Activate Token Licensing screen will appear. Select Do Not Activate Token Licensing with the Rational License Key Server and click Next. Click Next again. The Choose Your Database Type screen will appear. Select Use a Pre-installed Database Server. Select Oracle Enterprise Edition 12C and click Next. The Database Server property screen will appear. Select Connect using a generic Oracle JDBC URL. Click Browse and browse the JDBC driver download that matches your database. And click Next. The Database Server Additional Properties screen will appear. Enter the database JDBC URL along with the username and password. You will see a Database Exists message. This is normal and expected. This is because the database specified, WL Admin, and the user, App Center, have already been created manually. Click Next. The Create Database screen will appear. Click Next. The Application Server type screen will appear. Select WebSphere Application Server and click Next. The Application Server Configuration screen will appear. For the WebSphere installation directory, click on the down arrow and select C IBM WebSphere Liberty. Be sure the profile is set to Liberty. Select your server, in our example, Simple Server, and click Next. The Multiple Users screen will appear. Select an installation mode of multiple users and an operating system group of administrators and click Next. Click Next again. We are now going to install the Mobile First Platform Server. Click Install. A progress screen will appear. This may take a few minutes as the installation manager installs and configures Mobile First. Click Finish when the package has been successfully created.